Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly video. This is episode 40 or odd something. Um, anyway, I'm just going to show you what happened this week. Um, again, still kind of striking out at stores. Um, haven't really found much of anything. Actually, we'll go. With, I'll do the two store finds first. And actually, my buddy Crazy Todd again went shopping and picked me up this. Pretty cool HD trucks. Um, this is the Ford F-350 ramp truck with 1965 Shelby Cobra 427 SC. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and uh, we will take a closer look at that in the second uh, bit of the video. Um, and then we also got this guy right here, the Winnebago. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet. I'm going to open this up. We'll take a look at that close up in the second half of the video, along with compare it to the other two um, kind of camper or whatever uh, castings from uh, Greenlight. So, pretty cool RV. It's an old RV. It's pretty sweet. We'll open that up and take a look. Um, let's see here. Uh, I got this Country Roads. This I got a while ago. This is actually already open. I just picked it out because I want to kind of compare it a little bit to the uh, something that Heavy Metal 164 got me, which I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, but we'll take a close look at this green light as well. Um, and then I also got I got an eBay purchase here. This is an Ultra Red. Um, this is a 1970 Mercury Cougar. I think it was under 10 bucks to have shipped to my house. And there are a few more available from that same seller. So if anybody wants this thing, go on eBay and get it. Pretty cheap. So there's uh, just that brief stuff. I mean, that's really all I've added to the collection. Aside from I've got um, Heavy Metal 164. Travis sent me this uh, uh, turntable. And it originally was just solar powered. I went ahead and I added uh, ability to use a AA battery. There's a double A in there. So now you can just use a double A battery. It doesn't matter your lighting situation. And there's a switch on the front now that you can just uh, go ahead and turn on. And then it will begin to spin. Um, and while we're looking at that kind of spinning here, he threw some stuff in the box just for my troubles. I told him I'd do it for him for nothing, basically. And, uh, of course, he sent a couple of things along that he thought I might enjoy. Like this old trashed red line here pretty sweet it's like a root beer color axles are completely bent whack but this might be a cool candidate for like my first like red line restoration maybe so maybe I'll try to fix that one up um, he sent me this green machine hitch and tow um, Dodge Ram so, and that's why I got this out, because I just wanted to see size-wise how these would compare to each other. So we'll take a look at that in the second half of the video. Um, this is pretty neat. It's a green machine. The hitch is broken, though, unfortunately. I'm not sure if that happened in transit, but here is the little hitch bit. So that's broken. And then here's the trailer. And the trailer is missing the little trailer jack thing. Uh, but there's a trailer. Oh, the other cool thing about this turntable is you can kind of um, set the speed almost by how hard you push it. And that's how fast it will turn. And if you want to change directions, you just push it the other way. And then it will start spinning the other way. It's kind of a neat little thing. So I might pick up a turntable for myself. But uh, So he sent me that. And... Uh, he sent me this truck right here. Uh, this is pretty sweet. It's a Chevy truck. This is um, an Ertl, I believe. Yep, it's an Ertl. So he sent me that. And a Johnny Lightning tow truck, which is kind of neat. Um, these must be in, like, the Street Freaks series or whatever. It's missing the uh, hood. Well, the hood wouldn't come on it because it's got this blown engine bit, which Johnny Lightning likes to do with some of their castings. <clears throat> And then uh, I got some customs that I made, or worked on at least. I finished this thing. I think I showed a picture of it on Instagram a while back or something, but I finished it. It's all together now. It rolls pretty sweet. Rusted out bone shaker. We'll take a close look at that in the second half. This rusted out truck is also one of the ones that finished. So, done with that. Um, 
I worked on this Silverado. This is going to have headlights. I tried to go for ghost flames, which did turn out pretty cool. I used a vinyl mask. The vinyl mask actually came from LE Diecast, and I don't have the headlights in yet. I do have the plastic inserts in there, um, and I'll take it apart and show you a closer look. And I'll take I'll show you a closer look at this paint. The paint is actually really screwed up. Um, something with the clear coat, it started to do this crackling thing, and I'll show you that close up. Um, I finished this one, showed it I think a while back, and it wasn't quite done. Um, now it's done, it's, de it's detailed, um, I changed the interior to a black interior, it was white. Um, and of course this one does have headlights. There those are, pretty sweet. And then I also finished this one. This is just a simple wheel swap from one of the Fast and the Furious series um, cars, except for, of course, I added some some headlights to it. So we'll take a closer look at that in the second bit here, in just a second. And then the custom I really dig right now that I did, it's not finished yet because I, I still got to detail it, but it's this guy, this 63 Chevy truck. Now, um, what I originally had planned was to put lights in it and was to just make this like base part with the lights in it and send it to Mr. Sensitivity uh, to do another collaboration build, to put it in one of his customs of this. Now, the only problem is the way I put in the lights, um, it takes up a little too much space on the back side of this plastic middle bit. And if you had this thing at standard ride height, the uh, tires would rub and would not be able to roll at all. So I gotta go back to the drawing board on that, but so I decided what I would do with this truck is just raise it up to like a more stock level. And uh, it's pretty sweet, rolls. Uh, I just basically did put the axles on the outside of the base. These are, wheels are from a Matchbox Supreme Heroes. And I think this truck looks pretty cool. So we'll take a close look at that in a second bit. So let's just uh, flip the camera around it quick and uh, take a quick look at some things. All right, first let's take a look at a couple of these uh, LED customs. We'll start with these uh, two Porsches. So I think they look pretty awesome. Um, this thing, I think really all it needed was some decent wheels. It could use a little ride height adjustment. It does ride a bit high. And some rear detail maybe. But other than that, this thing is done. I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, kind of just happy with doing this... Uh, Somewhat simple project, just putting lights in it, and that was pretty much it, and putting some wheels on it. It's good. Uh, this Porsche looks really good. Um, color's pretty cool. It's a metal flake blue. Uh, detailed it out a bit. Wheels look pretty good on it. The back ones do sit in a little bit more than I would like, but not much I can do about that now. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. And then this truck... I think it's going to turn out pretty awesome when I'm done with it. Um, like I said, I still need to detail it. Uh, probably do something with that base. It doesn't need to be chrome. Um, but I think it turned out pretty cool. It doesn't sit perfectly level. That front axle is a little bit wonky, so I might have to pull that off and re-glue it to try to get it level. Um, but I think that looks pretty sweet. And then we'll go ahead and turn these lights back on here. Um, the paint job on this one is a that VHT like engine block paint that you can get at uh, AutoZone. And I think it, it's a good color for this truck. I think it looks pretty sweet. So there's those three. Turn off the lights here. Conserve the battery. I need to get more batteries. And then uh, this guy here, we'll see how this translates on camera. The paint job looks a lot, probably a lot cooler on camera than it does in person, um, looking at it through my phone here. Uh, but if you go up real close, the clear coat made the undercoat crackle. And it's kind of a cool effect, but definitely not what I intended. I think I probably still will just detail this thing out, put the lights in, because the lights are not in yet. Right now you just got the plastic I put in there, so the lenses are in there. So it needs that, it needs to be detailed. I painted the base flat black. 
Um, so it just needs its battery and switch and stuff and those LEDs to be glued to the back side of that. And we'll have another LED Silverado. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably just still finish it because I think it does look pretty cool. It does look nice. It'll still take decent pictures and stuff like that. And did an okay job with the mask. And I'll probably do another one sometimes, but... I think this one will just do for now. So there's those. So uh, there's there's a couple customs, and we got still this rusty uh, bone shaker. This thing turned out pretty neat. Dip this sucker in muriatic acid, and then uh, made some rust with steel wool, uh, vinegar, and hydrogen peroxide, and rusted her up. I think it looks pretty pretty nice. Rolls well too. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, and then this truck turned out okay. Just a rust bucket. I did accidentally drill through the bed, and I accidentally drilled through the hood. The problem with using muriatic acid is you start to really eat away at the metal. Look, look at that. Which is cool, but then when you go back in to try to, like, screw it together, um, you try to drill into that, what's left of the post. It's kind of hard, and it, it's kind of hard to do it properly where you're not going to screw something up and, like, blow through the the bed or whatever because the metal's really th much thinner and softer at that point so this one's not sitting quite level either uh but this was a that was a fun little experiment to do so <clears throat> there's those um real quick we'll take a look at the uh, there's a tow truck that heavy metal 164 we got little rust bits of the body here on my white backdrop it's pretty cool obviously not to scale you know, these Johnny Lightning large vehicles are, you know, run really, really small. They almost could be like whatever is that uh, HO scale. It's almost like 187 scale. It could possibly be close to that. Uh, but still, a pretty cool piece. Um, dig that. Thank you very much, Travis. Um, here quick, here's that other truck. It's a Chevy. Pretty sweet. There's not much information on the base. It just says Ertl, Iowa. Made in China. Um, but it does have rubber tires with tread. Plastic base, metal body. It's a pretty big, big truck, so it looks pretty sweet. And um, and then here's that red line. It's a nice color. The paint's not actually in that awful a shape. The problem though is is this is dented or whatever. It's misshapen. And obviously these axles need some help. Uh, but still a pretty cool piece. I don't really have any old red lines. Much of any old red lines in my collection. Um, minty or otherwise. So pretty neat. Um, and then here's that Green Machine truck. Dodge Ram. And the Ford F-150 that I cracked. And these are actually... Despite the... This has got like a crew cab... It's got like a little extended cab, but uh, they're almost the same length, actually. But I do like these green light trucks. I really, these are the only two I have, I think. I might have some hitch and tow stuff that I haven't cracked yet, but uh, these are the only two trucks I got loose. Um, I want to get a buddy working on a display for me um, that's going to help me be able to put larger vehicles on the wall. Um, that might actually include um, some spots for the motorhomes too, but uh, so stay tuned for that. That might be coming sometime, sometime in the near future. And then here is this sweet uh, Ford F three fifty truck with the Ford Cobra on the back. This thing is a really it's a really neat idea to put this out in the HD truck series. You don't get a big truck, but you do get two castings, and that is pretty cool. And then. The little back there with these little ramps so I think that's pretty awesome I like this little Cobra casting that uh, Greenlight puts out there's a ton of them out but uh, I think it is pretty neat and this truck is uh, pretty sweet it almost looks it looks small though it definitely looks small it probably isn't it probably is really it could be true to scale I don't really know but it kind of looks small when you put it next to these other trucks but they make trucks pretty big pretty large these days so it could be still true 164 but to me it does look kind of small so there is that this is definitely a really cool piece 
just a neat thing. There are some fragile parts on it, but it'll be all right. And uh, then let's take a look at this guy. This thing is pretty awesome, actually. And uh, I don't see any quality issues with this one. The uh, plastic bits actually feel pretty substantial. They don't really feel like they're that easy to break off. They have uh, inserts for the tail lamps. There's inserts for the headlamps. And I think this looks pretty awesome. I think they did a really good job with this RV. Pretty sweet. How does it compare? Here's the bounder. Right there. Bounder's got a lot of detail. A lot of the bounder parts, though, are very, very fragile. This ladder is so weak and fragile. This one's actually very rigid. So, seems like this would stand up to a lot more abuse than uh, this little weak thing would. Um, this one has lens detail in the rear, too. But I don't think it has lens detail in the front. No, it doesn't. But, uh... Pretty sweet. It's got the wipers and stuff. And then here's the other bounder. And it's the original color that it came out in. And this thing is pretty awesome too. Not much on this one that can be broken off or that's very fragile. Besides maybe the mirrors. Maybe a couple of things on the top here. Does not have a ladder. Um, pretty sweet. I would have picked. I would have picked up this bounder that's in this HD truck series. Which is, it's just three three castings in the series. You got that guy, this guy, and then another one of these bounders. The same casting, but a different color. And the color is actually really cool, um, the color of it. I just didn't pick it up, though, because I noticed in the package, both of them had a really wonky rear uh, dually. Like, they just, it was really not not good um it looked like it was the axle was like totally bent or the wheel was not on there properly on both of them that were there so i didn't pick any of them up because of that reason so if i find one in good shape or whatever that looks good and doesn't have any flaws to it i probably will pick it up uh but that's gonna be it for this video guys uh thanks for watching another one i really wanted to try to keep this one under 20 minutes and it doesn't look like it's really gonna happen um hopefully i'll actually find some stuff um in the next week some cool stuff I did make an eBay purchase today. Hopefully I'll have that by the end of the week and be able to show that to you next week. Some pretty cool things coming in there. And uh, other than that, I was glad to get, you know, get to work on some customs and actually get some stuff done. So that was pretty cool. These were just like projects that were laying around that were kind of like half done. And I'm like, well, we need to button these up and finish them. So I was able to do that. And my experimental paint job. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So there's that. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day.